Jordan's artery camp for Syrian refugees is now the size of a city. As the situation in Syria has deteriorated sharply, the camp has swollen in size. More than 90,000 people are now staying here, 40,000 arriving in January alone. Most are housed in poorly insulated tents, the lucky ones in prefabricated shelters. Camp administrators say they're underfunded and struggling to respond. While they've been given the basics, new arrivals like 74-year-old Leila, who fled from the Syrian town of Dera, say it's not enough. <laughs> Yusuf and his family are also new arrivals. Their home in Syria was destroyed by a tank. They've been given a tent and blankets, but Yusuf says it's very cold at night as they don't have any heating. These Syrian refugees are able to earn some money helping to install water tanks, tap stands and shower blocks that Oxfam is building for the camp. Uh, the major pro problem that we have here is influx of refugees coming in at such a fast pace for us to keep up our pace of construction to be able to support what, uh, the refugees with the services they need. Meanwhile, the camp continues to expand and thousands more Syrian refugees are taking shelter in areas across Jordan where aid is harder to access. Without a secession in the conflict, the likelihood of ending this flood of refugee arrivals looks very slim indeed.